Let's talk clouds. No, not those clouds. I'm talking about cloud computing. Like, what are clouds? What makes them better than computing BC? That's before clouds. What are the major types of clouds? And how might you best use each type based on your needs? Let's start with what a cloud is. All clouds are data centers, or multiple data centers, made up of compute and storage resources connected by a network. But what makes a data center a cloud is that all of those resources are virtualized into one big giant shared pool of resources, which can be intelligently and automatically orchestrated. And that means it can adapt to meet the ever-changing needs of your apps and the ever-changing utilization and availability of each resource. And that's why clouds are awesome. Today's clouds are smart, automated, and adaptive. Apps can be deployed far more quickly without custom provisioning boxes. And once deployed, those apps can dynamically scale on demand. Resource issues like congestion or failure can be resolved automatically. Quite simply, clouds can be more efficient and cost effective than traditional data centers. So let's take a closer look at each type of cloud and which type might be the best for your needs. We'll start with public clouds. They're what most people think of when they talk about the cloud. What makes them public is that they are hosted by a cloud service provider who rents space on the cloud to their many customers or tenants. Those tenants generally only pay for services they actually use, much like how we consume electricity as a service for our energy needs. Public clouds let you offload management where you don't mind giving up some control. That's why they're a popular choice for hosting everyday apps like email, customer relationship management, HR, and other business support apps. Private clouds are next. They're private because they only have one tenant. You get all the goodness of a cloud, but you can control and customize it to fit your needs. And that control is why many companies are migrating their data centers to private clouds to run core business apps that provide unique, competitive advantages like research, manufacturing, supply chain management, and more. Finally, there are hybrid cloud environments. They're hybrid because they're a combo of both public and private clouds. You get all the benefits of both and more, like the ability to create new, innovative apps with uncertain demand. Apps you can deploy on your private cloud, which can burst to the public cloud during demand spikes. So there you go. Just remember, there are several types of clouds. And businesses are tending to use each type of cloud based on their service delivery needs. But we've obviously only scratched the surface. We can give you a lot more info and details if you're interested. Just visit the Intel IT Center here on the web.